don't feel like doing anything I just want to lay in my bed Feel like picking up my phone So leave a message at the door Today I swear I'm not doing anything I'm gonna kick my feet up and stir at the fan Turn the TV on, throw my hands in my pants No this gonna tell me I can I'll be lounging on the couch, just chilling in my snuggie Good to went to be so they teach me how to dug it Cause in my castle, I'm the freaking man I say it, I say it, say it cause I can Today I don't feel like doing anything I just wanna lay in my bed Picking up my phone So leave a message at the door They ask where I'm not doing anything Nothing at all <laughs> Tomorrow I woke up to some pain and GX With a really nice girl That's a really nice sex house I'm just gonna scream out This is good I might mess around Get my college degree yeah, I bet my own so proud of me Sorry Pops You'll just have to wait I say it I say it Say it Cause I can Today I don't feel like Doing anything I just want to lay In my bed I feel like Picking up my phone So leave a message At the door Day I swear I'm not Yeah. 
duck walk that you are doing there um, where did that come from why well you know when I was a kid I used to like scoot under the table and uh, and uh, whenever company would come around you know well my sisters or parents or would tell me go under the table you know and I'd, I'd do it you know it was like an entertainment for the family or aunts or whatever and uh, one time at the Paramount it was when I first did it Brooklyn Paramount uh, I did it in the act on an instrumental and played my guitar and I got a big ovation so I coined it as one of the things I should do in the act and since I've been doing it. You just don't do it under tables anymore. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of people might wonder, uh, look at uh, Chuck Berry performing on stage, you are, oh, I think I can say this affectionately, a crazy man on the stage. Crazy but, legs, but, I've been called. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I, I appreciate that founding fathers, you know, there's been so many yes. empires, kings are kind of going out of style. Yeah. I'm so glad. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, you know, right? Thank you. I mean, I'm not the source authority founding for father. the founding fathers, but um, <laughs> I'll take the things anyway. Chuck Berry was one of the pioneers of rock and roll. His powerful guitar licks fueled hit songs such as Johnny Be Good, Maybelline, and Roll Over Beethoven. During the 50s and 60s, Barry's music signaled a new era in rock and roll. The singer's ability to seamlessly blend R&B and rock music made a strong impact on the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, to name a few. It's very difficult for me to talk about Chuck Berry because I lifted every lick he ever played. Barry experienced a career resurgence in the mid-80s and 90s. His music re-entered pop culture in films such as Back to the Future and Pulp Fiction. In 1984, Barry received the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award, and a year later, he became became the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's anyway. first inductee. Mr. Berry. Dino Mike. Dino Mike. Thank you. To give me Memphis, Tennessee. Thank you. Help me find the party. Trying to get in touch with me. She could not leave her number, but I know who placed the call. My uncle took the message and he wrote it on the wall. Oh, help me, information. To get in touch with my.
We're getting breaking news into the newsroom. Here's the latest. Baby it's the mid-50s, and Chuck Berry was at the height of his success, pioneering a new sound, rock and roll. Now you can't get me. He had his own driving guitar style, fusing country western with rhythm and blues. Go, 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 little with his Gibson guitar and energetic moves, he pushed down racial barriers, playing to a mostly white teenage audience. Go, go. Barry's hits, including Johnny Be Good and Sweet Little Sixteen, didn't just thrill teenagers. They influenced rock's biggest acts. John Lennon once said, if you tried to give rock and roll another name, you might call it Chuck Berry. Barry grew up in St. Louis and was shaking things up even as a kid. During his first public performance at his high school, he played the blues, considered inappropriate for the time. But even as a teen, Barry would also begin his lifelong trouble with the law, serving three years for armed robbery. Barry married and worked a series of jobs to support his family. Then a road trip to Chicago to see his idol Muddy Waters proved to be his big break. Record executives heard Barry turn an old country and western number called Ida Red into the hit Maybelline. What Maybelline? Why can't you be true? the birth of rock and roll. Disc jockey Alan Freed began touting Barry's new sound. Alan Freed called it the beat. You gotta have the beat. Then came more chart toppers, rollover Beethoven and rock and roll music, and more trouble with the law. Federal authorities prosecuted Barry for transporting an underage girl across state lines. He served a year and a half in prison. Barry returned to recording and kept on touring, showing off his famous duck walk, boosted in popularity by the Beatles, Rolling Stones, and Beach Boys, who were now singing his songs. For another artist to choose uh, one's uh, material really is gratifying. In 1979, he performed for President Jimmy Carter at the White House and even launched his music on the Voyager 1 satellite. Then, more prison time for tax evasion. In 1984, Barry took home the Lifetime Achievement Grammy. Two years later, Keith Richards threw him a big 60th birthday bash. Going round and round. He was one of the first inductees into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And in 1995, Barry fired up the stage with Bruce Springsteen to celebrate rock history. Dubbed the eternal teenager, Barry continued touring well into his 80s, never letting go of that rock and roll music he helped define. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News. Shout it to the driver, hey conductor, you must. Slow down, I think I see her. Please let me off this bus. Nadine, honey, is that you? Honey, is that you? Every time I see you, you got something else to do. I saw her from the corner when she turned and doubled back and started walking toward a coffee colored Cadillac. Pushing through the crowd, trying to get to where she's at. Campaign shouting like a southern diplomat. Nadine, is that you? Is that 
They told me Maybelline might last two years. I had disbelief in that. And before Maybelline died away, there was roll over Beethoven, school days, Wheel of 16 and so forth. And it has perpetuated and continued until and through now. So it's far above my expectation. Maybelline be a middle-aged lady by now and she's still shaking. Isn't well, Wheel of 16 is 34 now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Beatles and the Rolling Stones um, are stepchildren of yours in a way. Um, they will give Chuck Berry right. a lot of credit. Are you right. kind of proud of those kids? I am. I am very much. And, uh, of course, I don't quite understand, if I may go on further, some yeah. of the new coins that have been, like, uh, uh, well, Acid Rock came in there uh, not too long ago, but this new thing, uh, I think they call punk rock. Yeah. And, uh, I haven't even got in far enough to, you know, I think these names are the character of uh, the deliverance, because music is music. You know, you can't change uh, rock and say this is punk rock or this is acid rock or this is hard rock or, or rockabilly. Music music, and uh, I think the people are the deliver the actors who, uh, the musicians, and when, when they put the music out, they want to insert their character in it. So they call it such and such, so that you uh, put the adjectives in it, so that you'll know what they uh, or how they live, so to speak. Yeah. But rock is rock. Uh, and rock and roll is rock is just short for rock and roll. I've been asked this, and I think uh, this is my opinion of it. You know, yeah. so when we say when we put all the adjectives in front of it, if they're playing basic music, it's just rock. Mm -hmm. How old are you now? Fifty-one. You're fifty-one, mm -hmm. and you're still a rocker yourself. Oh yeah, I can boogie a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. I've heard. Uh, I, I think I know the answer to this question already. But who was the greatest singer of all time, in your opinion? The two. There too. Cool. Nat and Frank Sinatra. Oh yeah. Yeah, believe me, because I'm emotional, and I think they arouse more emotion in me than any, you know, yeah. than any other. And uh, if I may add, uh, Muddy Waters, Louis Jordan, uh, Benny Goodman, of course, Glenn Miller's, you know, band music. Uh, these are the inspirers of mine. Yeah. Yeah. These are the ones who influence me. Yeah. And. They still live in my books. As a matter of fact, I'm playing them every day. They call it rock, you know. <laughs> well, enough people are playing the works of Chuck Berry. I suppose you can do some borrowing on your own. Thank you for oh, being with us. You're a delight. It's a pleasure. It's a delight off stage, too.